Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Karnaya's Kitchen, your favorite kitchen. Yes. So, you guys, we're going to be cooking some chicken drumsticks today. Yeah, we're going to be baking it in the oven. I was going to put it in a crock pot, but I'll do that next time because I had so much to do today. But we're going to be cooking baked chicken covered with bell peppers, green bell peppers, orange bell peppers, red bell peppers. I had to make sure I'm saying the right colors. I don't know my colors. Um, and yellow bell pepper also. And I'm going to cut up some onions, which is my fave. Bell pepper and onions, you guys. Um, right here we have some broccoli. I have two bags of broccoli, so we're going to be cooking that today. We're going to be cooking some rice, y'all. We only got a little left, but we got a big bag up here, by the way. But, yeah, we're going to be doing some rice. I got the salt and pepper for the rice, the chicken, the seasonings, the uh, broccoli. Y'all, when I say we finna eat good, we finna eat good. You guys, come on to Kornite's Kitchen because I know you're hungry. Oh, by the way, you guys, I'm going to do some different seasonings today. I'm going to do garlic salt. I'm going to do Cajun seasoning. Um, Laurie's garlic salt, by the way. Um, Louisiana Cajun seasoning. I'm also gonna be putting some butter and I'm gonna be doing some wireless chicken cubes and the baked chicken, of course. <laughs> it's gonna be so good, y'all. And look, y'all, I got some Zatarans cayenne pepper, New Orleans. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, and yeah, do not correct me and say it's not New Orleans. I say it how I wanna say it New Orleans, New Orleans, whatever. All right, y'all, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting the broccoli, the organic broccoli for it. I'm putting it in the pot, and I'm going to do some salt, pepper, and butter. Do some salt, pepper, and butter. Also, you guys, I also like to do one chicken bouillon cube for my broccoli. I do... Chicken. So yeah, I like to put one chicken bouillon cube in there, and like I said, salt, pepper, and butter. Just a little, just a little salt, you guys. Just two little sprinkles because, like I said, I got the chicken bouillon cube in there, and that has a lot of salt in it. So, I'm gonna do it like that, and. Just stir it up a little bit and just let it simmer for now. All right, you guys. I also clean my chicken off, by the way. Pick up my chicken right here. So, y'all, I'm going to do enough chicken for today and tomorrow. So, y'all, I'm going to put some pepper on the chicken. You see, I got the little black peppercorn, black pepper grinder. Child, it's gonna take all day. I'm dead, baby, baby. I don't like it, you guys. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cayenne pepper. I don't wanna do too much because my husband get my husband get mad at me, y'all, when I do too much cayenne pepper. He be so mad. He be like, why you have cayenne pepper with me? I'm like, I don't like that spicy. All right, you guys, the Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Y'all, I saw a little meme on Facebook. It said, when you season it foods, you supposed to season it until the ancestors say, enough, my child. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't hear the ancestors say, enough, my child. And I just freak a little too much. Yeah, ask my husband about it. <laughs> he will tell you, baby. And y'all, I got a little Loris garlic salt. Put a little on there. And massage this chicken up really good, really nice. I'm gonna do a little more. Yeah, I don't do all that measurement when it comes down to the seasoning. I just season it until I know it's seasoned well. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna massage the chicken up really nice and well. Y'all, I'm going to add 
add a little more Cajun seasoning to it and a little pepper garlic. Okay. And just massage it up all nice and good, you guys. Just massage it, y'all. Okay. I see some of that water sitting at the bottom like usual. You guys, by the way, a good tip for you is to um take the water. You can get like some napkins, like five or six paper towels, and just try your best to drain the water that's on the bottom of the chicken. Because you be thinking you better drain all the water, but it still be water on the bottom of the chicken. So you guys, I'm gonna use two different pots like I usually do. Well, two different pans like I usually do. Oh, y'all I got the butter right here because the other butter that I got I have to put it in the broccoli so I'm gonna have to use the rest of that butter for the broccoli but this butter right here now y'all I do it three types of ways um but I'm gonna do it a different way today so last time when I did chicken I I put the butter in the microwave and then I put all of my seasonings in the butter after it melted and I stirred up my seasonings that was in the butter and just poured it over the chicken. Um, I do it that way and sometimes I just season my chicken and then put the butter in here. So I do it like different ways or whatever. But um, I'm going to put some butter in here and just put the rest of the butter in here. And now I'm going to put the chicken booty on TV. you guys i i also have some chicken bouillon seasoning but i'm not gonna use the chicken bouillon seasoning i'm gonna use the chicken bouillon cubes so i got the chicken bouillon cube i'm gonna put one in there matter of fact let me see um, yeah i'm gonna put one in there and i'm gonna put the other three in here So I put one chicken bouillon cube in now, and I'm putting three in this one. All right, you guys, I have some cooking stock chicken, some chicken stock that I'm gonna pour over the chicken. See, I got the bouillon cube. I got the butter over the chicken, the bouillon cube. I got the chicken season, and I got the cooking stock chicken, the cooking stock. Yes, you guys. And I'm about to cut up my bell peppers and onions. And when I cut up my bell peppers and onions, I'm going to put it over my chicken. I'm cook it halfway. And I'm going to show y'all how it's looking. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So the rice is ready. The broccoli is ready. And y'all, I went and added two cans of cream of chicken to the chicken. I want to add it two cream of chicken soups to the chicken Campbell's brand. So I wasn't going to add it at first, but I just went on to add it anyway, you guys. And also I cut up my bell peppers and onions and I'm about to get ready to cook them. You know, sometimes I put my bell peppers and onions on top of my chicken and just let it cook the whole time it's in there. Well, sometimes I like to just cut them up and put them in the skillet. Put some butter in now and put some chicken bouillon in now and just you know stir it up cook it real good this time instead of me putting my bell peppers and onions inside 
of the chicken and let them cook down. I'm just going to put it in a skillet this time, you guys. All right, you guys. So now that I have cut up my bell peppers and onions, I cut up my bell peppers, green bell pepper, orange bell pepper, red bell pepper. And I cut up my onions, as you can see. And I got my butter in the skillet. And I got my chicken bouillon. This is the butter that I use, by the way. Country crop plant butter with olive oil. And I also use Wilder's Chicken Cubes bouillon. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stir up this butter and squish the bouillon cube. Just squish it down really nicely. Mm -hmm. See how I'm just smashing it down? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little black pepper in it, by the way. Put a little black pepper in it, and then I'm going to add my bell peppers and my onions <laughs> yeah all this taking too long i'm just gonna dump it on in there <laughs> you guys so i'm done with the chicken this is the chicken is done right now like i said i added the cream and cream of chicken to it and i also cooked my bell peppers and onions this time i cooked them separately in the pan by itself sometimes i cook them by itself or sometimes i would just put it in the um sometimes i would cook it by itself and sometimes I will just cook it um, inside of the chicken. It just all depends, you guys. But, yeah. This is the chicken. And this is the bell peppers and onions. You guys, I'm about to put it in the chicken. You guys, thank you so very much for watching my video to the very last. And like, comment, share, subscribe. And hit that bell notification so you can get notified every single time I drop a video. Thank you for joining me today in Cornelia's Kitchen. Dinner is served. Come on to Cornelia's Kitchen.